い皆さんこんにちはレナです今日は外国人に向けてインタビューをしたいと思います今は名古屋駅ですここに新幹線の入り口があるから、まあ、ここに入ったり出発したりする人が多いからいろんな日本についての質問をしたいです行きましょう So, hi, nice to meet you and thank you for the interview. Can you start by telling me your name, please?、Uh, Eric. Hi, Eric. Where are you from?、Uh, I'm from London. London? Yeah. Okay, cool. And is it your first time visiting Japan?、Uh, yes. Okay. How long have you been here so far?、Uh, I've been here for three weeks so far. Already three weeks? Yes.、Yeah. And how long are you going to be here after、uh, that? Until the end of the month. And you just arrived in Nagoya? Just arrived in Nagoya.、Yeah. Okay. Where did you come from before? Uh, so, first we were in Tokyo and then we decided to visit the neighboring city, so Yokohama, Kitagawa. Cool. And then we decided to go to Osaka and then visit Kyoto and Nara.、Mm -hmm. And now we're here in Nagoya. And what are your plans for after Nagoya? After Nagoya, we're going to visit Hiroshima and then after that, we're not quite sure yet. Was there anything that surprised you when you came to Japan? Courtesy of the people? Yeah. In London, everyone's a bit like they're quiet, but Don't really seem very polite. Here, everyone seems quite out of politeness and out of、yeah. this adherence. But I feel like、world. British people are famous for being polite, aren't they? Yeah, but London's a bit different. Okay. Here, it seems like the closer you get to the cities, the bigger cities, the more polite people get. I In see. In London, it feels like it's the other way around. Why did you decide to come to Japan? Well, my friend invited me because he、okay. spent a year studying here in Nagoya. But it's your first time, right? Yeah, this is my first、okay. time. Do you have any kind of favorite Japanese food? Probably sushi. Sushi? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty nice.、Yeah. <laughs> me too. I love sushi for a long time. Okay, tell me about your favorite experience so far during this trip, something that stood out. In Kyoto. Yeah. Where we, we decided to go to this cafe on the riverside.、Mm -hmm. And it was very quiet there. Like a lot of people, the chatter was very low.、Mm -hmm. It felt very relaxing. And on the riverside, there was someone playing a Japanese flute. And I could、mm -hmm. see. Huh? The nature and the river. I really、cool. like Japanese nature as a whole. Okay. Pick up any Japanese? <laughs> Barely. Hi, on the guy's m a s k Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. d a i j o b u desu. Nice. Okay.、Uh, thank、nice. you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you.、Uh, start by telling me your name. My name is Annalise. Annalise,、mm -hmm. and where are you from? Utah. First time to Japan?、Uh, no. I... Uh, married into a family who, there's, my husband's mom is half Japanese, and so、okay. we've come to Japan a lot to visit family here. So, how many times have you been here?、Uh, four times, and then my husband and I moved here last year, but now we're moving back. It was just like a one year thing. Where did you live? Okinawa. Awesome! I would <laughs> love、awesome. to live in Okinawa. <laughs> It was perfect. First time in Nagoya?、Uh, no, we've actually visited here a lot too because my husband's parents、um, are. Are kind of religious leaders in a、mm -hmm. missionary work here. Have you seen any of the sites of Nagoya?、Um, yeah, we saw Nagoya Castle. We've been to the zoo a couple times. With the children? The Toyota Museum. Yeah, that's very yeah、nice. lots of cool things.、Yeah. This might be difficult because you've been here a couple of times. Do you、sure. have any experiences that stood out where you would say, oh, this was amazing? So there's just a lot of family memories for us here in Japan. But we, I, I think riding the Shinkansen for the first time was really cool.、Yeah. And lots of things that were really new the first time, like the food and stuff like that. Any favorite foods, Japanese foods, that you、um, are going to miss when yes, you're back? <laughs> yes. Like katsu, like good katsu. It's、oh, yeah. not that easy to find in、yeah. the States, I feel like. And, oh, I'm a big fan of, of like curry. Really good curry yeah, here in style Japanese curry. style, so I'll miss that. We're gonna try to learn how to make it ourselves so that、yeah. we can replicate it, but、mm -hmm. yeah, and katsu curry together. So, yeah, so good. <laughs> exactly, right. Can you remember anything that when you first came here was like a culture shock or anything that surprised you? Yes, I can. I remember seeing a poster. We were driving and I saw a poster and it had a man's face on it and it was pink. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that's for. And my husband was looking at it and he said, oh, it's a political poster. He's running for like a, like a type of political position, mayor or something. And I was just, it was funny to me that it was pink, had bubbles on it. Like it was so, it was like kawaii. Yeah, well, everything in Japan is kawaii. <laughs> Your time living here, have you picked up any Japanese? Oh, <laughs> I'm sure many Japanese people like to tell you, <laughs> right? Are you did you try to actively learn Japanese? Or? We did, yeah. yeah. We, 
my husband, he, he's not with the military, but he had a contracted job where he was going on a military base every day to, mm -hmm. to work. And so he talked to Americans every day. Yeah, not much and opportunity. I was, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so yeah. I was taking care of my daughter every day. Mm -hmm. And we tried, we, we tried to learn Japanese at home a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but we just didn't interact that much, as much as we wanted to. We yeah. did on Sunday. We liked to go to church, and we went mm -hmm. to a Japanese church. And so, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we got to we got to interact then, but it's like mm -hmm. once a week, so okay. we only got a little bit better. Did your daughter pick up any Japanese? Yeah, a little. Yeah. She says she says akashingo. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's cute. Uh, did your opinion change about Japan after coming here compared to what you've been, you know, told before or knew before? I had no like negative associations with Japan. It seemed like a really cool place to go. And the first time I came here, I just didn't realize how true like the uh, what people said that Japanese people are so friendly. Japanese people—they're not just friendly; they are like so considerate and polite and just bow all the time. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. just, I've, I've just fallen in love with the culture so much. It became yeah. a dream to live here, and so okay. it was really cool to do that this last year. And we just our appreciation just only grew. We didn't. So you didn't have any like a culture better. shock period or something after living here. Not living here. The first time I came, yeah. it was like kind of overwhelming, but. Uh -huh after we visited a lot and living here this past year is just really great. What part of the culture did you like? I saw a video of children being taught in preschool how to be polite on a bus. Uh-huh. And like, oh, there's a woman walking on, she has, she's pregnant, like, give up your seat for her. Or there's elderly people coming on, give up your seat for the elderly. Mm -hmm. and I think just looking out for other people and thinking about other people a lot and not just being selfish. Coming from America, it's very, like, I don't mean everybody, but it just yeah. feels like it's a lot more, more about like me. Yeah, about, and, yes. Mm -hmm. And Japan's the opposite. Yeah. Well, so much sure. for your time. Sure. Hi, um, and welcome to Nagoya, I'm assuming. Uh, can you tell me your name? Pete. Hi, yeah. Pete. And where are you from? From England. From England. Where in England? In Cambridge. We were traveling uh, a couple of years ago. Cambridge was really nice. First time to Japan? No, third actually. Third time yeah. to Japan. Very nice. And why did you decide to come to Japan? So my wife used to, she worked on a jet scheme here um, mm -hmm. about 20 years ago. So yeah. in twice when she was here and then we mm -hmm. came back with the children this time. Okay, so first time for your daughter here. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Cool, with the family, very nice. And what have been your plans so far? What did you yeah, do? We've only been here three nights. We okay. arrived in Tokyo on made in uh, Shimbashi, mm -hmm. did a few sites in Tokyo and then we mm -hmm. got a Shinkansen pass. And we're traveling mm -hmm. down to Fukuoka, mm -hmm. um, cool, yeah. via Nagoya, Hiroshima and Kyoto. It's all places you've already visited before? I've been to all of them I think before, yeah, apart from Nagoya. Yeah. Nagoya is your first time? Yeah, yeah. And you just arrived? Yeah, we just arrived, yeah. Okay. What do you recommend in Nagoya? Um, what do I recommend in Nagoya? Uh, well, first check out the castle, definitely. Yeah. And then Osu, which is a shopping arcade with lots of street food. It's very nice to go there for shopping as well. Is, and that, is that quite central? That is all very central. Yeah. yeah, Nagoya is very small compared to Tokyo, where you have lots of city centers. Nagoya is very okay. like everything is easy to get to. It's also very hot, so I recommend maybe checking out a couple of museums. The train museum is very nice, and also the Toyota museum is also very nice. Okay. So the children are going to love those as well. Nice and air conditioned. Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any favorite Japanese foods? Yeah, we love. Uh, Okonomiyaki, you know, uh -huh. um, we've had a lot of ramen mm -hmm. already. I was quite fond of uh, sushi. Yeah, sushi's nice. Last night we went to like a little place where you sit and grill the meat on the table. Mm -hmm. like, Yakiniku? Yeah. Yeah. What's the little octopus snacks? We like those. Takoyaki. Takoyaki, yeah. yeah. Lots yeah. of different yeah, yeah, things yeah. that you like. Awesome. Was there anything you didn't like to eat? I'm really a massive fan of like, the, the raw meats. All of them. Okay. I don't mind like raw fish, but the <laughs> chicken and beef is a bit strange uh, to Europeans. Yeah, it's not good, for so. us, it yeah. might be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. Definitely. Did you have any kind of culture shock or something that really surprised you when you came to Japan the first time, I guess? I think it's got slightly easier. Uh, the signage, like getting around, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. there's a little bit more English about. Uh, what, when were you here the first time? It's probably 2004. Yeah, Three, four, a lot has changed yeah. since then with the English, I think. Yeah, yeah. so that's harder, I think, the first time. Mm -hmm. yeah. My wife speaks a little bit of uh, Japanese, so okay. that yeah. helps a lot with uh, directions mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Do you speak any Japanese? Any words you picked up? 
Hi, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Japanese are very appreciative of people trying, yeah. even if it's just a word or two. So definitely use those. What has been your favorite experience? Doesn't have to be this trip, but in general, just something that sticks in your mind and was like the most amazing experience here in Japan. Favorite things I got. We went to. We had a really good time at the Team Lab. Walking through the water. Lot of sensations. Yeah. So awesome. And yeah. The, yeah, the water with the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It changed colors and yeah. it was really cool. Yeah. I, I really love that as well. Oh, we've, like, we love going out for the meals in the evening, like the izakaya, we go and sit and have a few beers and uh, try a little food, yeah, it's really good fun. Nice. Thank you so much for your time. It's okay, yeah, good to speak to you. So, first of all, please tell me your name. Uh, my name is Karolina, I'm from Poland. And is it your first time coming to Japan? No, it's my second time. Now I came for uh, Pokemon World Championships. Oh, I saw that on TV actually. Yes. That How was, was it? two weeks ago. It was really, really cool. But I was a spectator because I'm like mid-range player. Very foreigner friendly, the event itself. Was there lots of English or was it lots of Japanese? Um, I think that if you are in Japan, you need to know some elementary Japan because even, even on those events, it's hard to uh, talk in English. Do you know some Japanese? Chotto. Chotto. Ah, thank you so much. Did you learn at a school in Poland or did you uh, yes. study here? Or? Yes, I, I am studying in uh, school at Poland. Yeah. How long have you been studying? I think six years. You're dedicated. <laughs> yes, I'm dedicated and uh, you know it's like one hour every week so mm -hmm. it's uh, too little to, to, to you know. But really keeping it up for six years, good job! <laughs> said you went to the uh, Pokemon Championship, what else have you done so far in Japan? I was in Kyoto mm -hmm. uh, for Obon, yeah. so I saw the fire mountains. Oh yes. yeah, cool! That was beautiful yeah. and we saw, uh, because we are Shiba Inu uh, parents, uh -huh. <laughs> So uh, we saw a couple of Shiba Inus in kimonos. Oh, that's that, so, that cute. so cute! Yes. <laughs> okay, so what has been your favorite experience so far in Japan? I don't know, maybe... Um, I think uh, old uh, people or old gra grandmas, ojisan, uh, yes, mm -hmm, yeah. uh, they are so kind yeah. and they want to know where are you from? Why are you here? And they want to talk to you. We have one uh, one time we met Oji-san in Sensoji Temple uh -huh, yeah. in Tokyo, uh -huh. and he just like uh, started to sing for us the Polish song "Szła dziewczka do laseczka." It was like what? That's so funny. Yes, especially the older Japanese men. Yes, very interested. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. because of Pokemon and other things, you had kind of an image of Japan and then you came here, did anything change? Was something very different or was it exactly as you expected it to be? Um, maybe as a child, as a teenager, I was thinking, yes, Japan is cool, I would like to live here, yeah? But for now, I would like to be permanent tourist. Okay. Like Gaijin-san. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh -huh. No working, just yeah. tourists. Thinking about buying here home, for example, in, mm -hmm. in a small village or something like mm -hmm. that, yeah. to come here for for a season or something like yeah. that. Did you buy anything here in Japan? Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you arrived with empty suitcases. Empty suitcases. And, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. And there is all Pokemon <laughs> merch. So. Nice. So I'm guessing there's a lot of things that you can only buy in Japan. Yes, especially in Pokemon Center, uh, plushies, mm -hmm. uh, for example, ear earrings, mm -hmm. yes, uh, jewelry, mm -hmm. uh, really, really much fun stuff. Okay. And if you are, if you have an iPhone, mm -hmm. then you all things to smartphones like oh. cases, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so on. So. Did you come with a list, or did you get surprised and? bought things that you saw. Surprised. Surprised. Okay. Yeah. Those are the Pikachu. Yes. <laughs> so you're going for the whole Pokemon style. Oh, yes. That's so nice. So much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. ということで、名古屋にいる外国人にインタビューができました。
ちなみに皆さんがなんかこれも聞いてほしいよというのがあればぜひコメント欄で教えてくださいこの動画が人気があればまた2つ目3つ目も撮ってみたいなと思いますのでぜひいいねボタンとチャンネル登録といろんなコメントをくださいそれではまた次の動画でも会いましょうバイバーイ